Today I'll be showing you how to use the mark points in D DCS uh, A10C Warthog. What the mark point is, is a waypoint which can be easily created by the pilot, allowing you to chain targets or easily acquire targets without losing lock by, uh, if you were to set the speed via the TGP. So, okay, to create a mark point we first need to get our targets. So we're just going to go over to the TGP here, and we're going to use China Hat Forwards Long, which is V, to slew to the current waypoint. Now we're going to set it as Soy, which is uh, K, holding K for a bit, and uh, then we're going to zoom in on the targets. All the uh, controls for the TGP are in my Maverick video, so if you haven't watched that already, I would go and watch that. Now. To, in order to mark a target, uh, we have to use TMS right short. This is left control right on the keyboard. I'll be referring to the uh, uh, keyboard commands after I've introduced them once. And so we'll do this by hitting TMS right short, and there we go. Nothing appears to have happened, but we have set a mark point. So we go to the next target, set another mark point, left control right and there's one on the runway I believe and there we go left control right okay so there's three targets set now in order to switch through these targets so we can uh, chain a maverick strike we need to set our steer point onto mark mode so it was previously on steer point now it's on mark mode now we can cycle through the targets and as you see they move on the HUD like that however um, our spear is not on them at the moment. So in order to get our spear on them, we need to hold TMS aft short. This is left control down, sh and uh, that will reset the spear onto the target. So you see there's now a tail on it. And now we need to we'll switch to the ma Maverick and select the Mavericks in the di Dismas. And now we just need to slew the Maverick seek, uh, to the waypoint and fire. So we'll do that with holding V, zoom in using V, and lock using um, TMS forwards, which is left control up. And then we're going to fire with the weapons release. Okay, now we put the next waypoint up. We have to slew again using China Hat forwards, so it's holding V. And now it's on the new target. Lock again, fire and then once more slew the target using V lock again lock again and fire and then we break off the same thing can also be done with GBUs which I'll show you now okay now for uh, GBU 38s it's the same with any other GPS guided bomb or laser guided bomb however it's di uh, more difficult with the laser guided bombs because they have to uh, laser guide the target for laser guide for 15 seconds before they can hit the target so it's not really advisable to use them now uh, we're going to have to acquire the targets again so this is the same method as before so we're going to hold V to slow it to the waypoint and we're going to put a mark point on each of the uh, vehicles so, mark point on that one, mark point on that one, then mark point on that one. Okay, now we need to switch to mark point mode. Okay, and now the difference with the bombs is you have to engage them in distance order. So we'll be engaging in actually. Uh, a rather silly order because I've marked them in a silly way. So we'll be going the third mark point, then the first mark point, and then the second mark point. Okay, so now we need to switch over to the GBUs. And as you can see, uh, we just need to set our speed onto the mark points. And We'll slave all sensors to the mark points so we can see which one we've got selected. So we'll just have a look at the distance. That's 9.4, 9.1, 8.8. Okay. .8. 
Oh, so it actually looks like we can engage them in order. That's brilliant. Okay. So we're just going to do this like a standard bombing procedure. However, once we've dropped the bomb, we're going on to the next target. Okay, we're nearing the target. And we just wait for the uh, line to get within the two arrows. And main release. Pickle. Next target. Slew it. And then pickle. And then pickle. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time.